What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jurisco coming at you guys with another video, boys. And today, fellas, I'll be going over how you can unlock all the venues in Madden 22 The Yard right now and how to complete every single campaign mission in the game. So let's go and hop into it. Now, if you guys have not already, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. Doing those three things will go a long way, and I would highly appreciate it, fellas. And also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you guys don't miss anything Madden 22. All right, fellas, now you see we're in the yard right here, and like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get all the locations and venues in the game right now in campaign a lot of people have been asking me how do you want to lock them how do you want to lock them literally everybody in their mom have been asking me so i'm going to show you guys in this video so we're going to hop over to campaign right here and what you start off with is chapter one and chapter two you're able to do chapter one and chapter two but you're not able to play chapter three and chapter four you're not able to play these other two in the campaign so basically how you're going to unlock chapter three and chapter four is you have to complete every single objective in these first two chapters you have to complete every single objective so let's go over to chapter one right here bots versus ballers you see i have every single one done every single objective is done fellas and you see venue uh perfection this is all done for bots versus ballers and i'm going to show you guys how you do um complete these objectives the best way to do it, i'm going to show you guys because i know a lot of guys have been asking you know how do you complete this specific objective and stuff i'm going to show you i'm going to show you guys in a little bit but just chill out um so chapter two you see right here um this is the miami port one i did complete all this three out of three and the venue perfection right there i completed that one um, let's go to kill kill uh kill mash. You see, I completed every single one in this one. Like I said, every single objective has to be done. Every single one. You see, runners and gunners, the Germany one. Um, you see, every single one is done. Every single one. So I have all the gear for these venues. I have all the completions done. I mean, I have all the objectives done. And now, once you do that, chapter three is gonna open right here. So now you can see. I can start playing chapter three right here. You see, I started, I started playing the first two and, you know, so forth and so, and, and you can start playing it. And um, it, it's going to be like that for all, for all these ones now. So now you can play all of chapter three. Um, you see right here, I can play chapter three now. And if you do not complete all your objectives in these first two, you cannot play these ones. You cannot play these ones. And now for chapter four, what you have to do is you have to complete every single objective for chapter three and then chapter four will open. That's when chapter four will open. And then, you know, you'll be done with the campaign. Now, do I expect them to add more missions throughout the year? Yes, 100%. I do expect them to. As they, you know, we, as they bring new venues into the game and stuff like that, I 100% expect them to, um, you know, you know, bring new venues and stuff. I mean, bring new, like, missions and stuff into the campaign. Now, with head-to-head, -head, fellas, I know a lot of guys, you know, have been asking me, when, when are they going to change the head-to-head -head venue, stuff like that. That is all of TEA. Whenever they change the live events, whenever they change stuff like that, that's when this will update. Um, it, it's usually every single week because the first week of um, Madden 22, if you were playing during the EA play trial, you were able to see, like, it, basically, it wasn't a new venue, but the, the CPUs were different. They weren't the giant, like, bots that are on the field right now. So, um, it, it, it usually is supposed to change every single week, but I'm pretty sure because, you know, they're trying to roll out this first patch. EA is not really focused on, you know, updating right now. They're trying to, you know, they're, they're trying to push out a big patch in September. So that's what I'm pretty sure that's what they're working on. So once they get out that big that big first patch, they're gonna start you know updating it every single week, the live events and stuff like that. Um, that that's that's what I expect to happen. That's what I expect because um that's what they kind of did last year. They kind of you know they kind of updated it like every two weeks, every three weeks. But that was different last year because there wasn't no live events. It was just literally regular head to head. Because they have something called live events now, where it's supposed to be like a every every other week type of thing, every week type of thing. That's when I expect this this type of you know the live events to update. So that's when I expect them, you know, to you know bring in new venues and stuff like that. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask me why don't they have you know all the venues in head to head? They they kind of tried that last year, but it kind of like messed up with the head to head. It would like it would like make the head to head uh, matchmaking times really really long because everybody would be searching on different venues and it would just make it like a longer matchmaking system. It, it would just take forever because you know everybody would just be spread out between these different venues. So I kind of like how they're doing it now, how it's just one venue. But I think they should just switch it out a lot. Switch it out every single week once you get into the flow of Madden 22. Once you know, once you really get into the swing of things, they should just switch it out every single week. Like one week it'd be Nike, one week it'd be Germany, stuff like that. Just switch it out every single week. I think they should 100% do that. So um yeah, you're not gonna see new venues. Um, you know, we're not gonna see all the venues in head to head like at one time. You're just not gonna see that. 
Um, but that, that's how it is for, for the campaign. For the campaign, you see all the venues in the game right now. Those are all the campaigns. I mean, those are all the venues available right now. Now, like I said, fellas, EA, they already did say that they're going to be adding venues throughout the year to, like, new venues. So, like, any type of venue that you see in Face the Franchise, like the one Nike one, where it's, like, a building, a suburban type of, you know, setting. And it's, like, you know, Friday Night Lights type of thing going on. Um, that one will be coming to the yard, too. They already confirmed that it will be coming. And any type of, like, also new, brand new one that they do make, during the year, that will be coming to the yard too. So, like, like I said, it's just it's, expect a bunch of new like venues and stuff like that. Expect the live events to be, um, you know, update throughout the year. And also, when they do add the ranked mode, I don't know what venue they're gonna have for. I don't know what the ranked uh, venue is gonna be. In the beta, it was Lambo Leap. It was the Lambo Leap, um, you know, venue from last year. That was the ranked uh, venue for uh, for ranked. So, so I don't know what they're gonna do when it actually does drop. Like I said, I'm guessing it's gonna drop in September. I have a video talking about it tomorrow about ranked, but um, like I said, with ranked, I, I think it's just gonna be one venue throughout the year. I don't think they're gonna switch the ranked venue throughout the year. I, I think it's just gonna be one. Is it gonna be Lambo or London? That's what I'm expecting, Lambo or London. Um, but yeah, that's how like all the venues and stuff work for Madden 22 The Yard. Now, fellas, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and show you guys how like the best way to complete these objectives and stuff like that. I'm about to show you guys, but you know, I just wanna say, make sure you are doing this, fellas. Make sure you're doing every single um chapter and stuff like that just because like this free gear that you get from it is something that you need to be getting you know you get a lot of you get you get a lot of rep you get a lot of uh cr you get a lot of cred for all this stuff so make sure you are doing it because i would 100 recommend it 100 it, it really gets you a lot of good things for your for your avatar and for your yard player and stuff so i 100 think you should be doing this campaign now i'm not gonna lie before man 22 drop i didn't think i'd be doing campaign like that but you know the way that, the way it's been turned out, bro. I, I'm definitely finishing the entire thing 100%. All right, first, so now I'm going to show you guys the best way to do these objectives and the best way to complete them. So let's go to hop into um. I'm gonna do the first one, the first box versus ballers one. I'm just gonna go ahead and go hop into this one. So let's go ahead and hit play. And I'm gonna be playing quarterback now. It's gonna different like different um missions or different like you know campaign missions. They're gonna have different type of objectives to where you know maybe you need to play wide receiver or you need to play wide uh, quarterback. So it just depends on you need to make sure you know exactly what the objective is before you hop into the game because sometimes they're gonna say oh catch you know 50 yards with your uh with your player at wide receiver then you're gonna have to play wide receiver there and uh they're gonna say maybe throw for 150 yards with your player so then you're gonna have to play quarterback so make sure you guys do pay attention to what the objective is every single time so we're gonna hop into the game right here um and like i'm gonna show you the best defensive play and the best offensive play to run basically every single play if you know if you're trying to you know try, try and get these objectives done just the, the the fastest way to get them done so um, you see we're in the game right here. Let's go ahead and skip this. Um, and we're on defense first. So defense, fellas. Defense, defense. This is what you need to run every play. Every single play, run this play. And the play is called safe zone blitz. It's the cover three with the little with the with the uh, center with the middle linebacker blitzing. This is the player that you need to run every single play. And the reason why this play is so good is because I'm not gonna lie to you, fellas. The CPU is literally flustered. Yes, bro. Yes, they're flustered every single play. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I don't know why, but like the CPU, like they literally just panic every single play. Like they, like they, like they panic. Look, look, you see right here. They literally just panic and they like throw it backwards. They sometimes they just throw a pick. Or sometimes they're, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes they're gonna miss you. They're gonna throw an absolute laser. But it's real. It's rare. Like every so, if you run this play ten times, right? You run this play ten times. I would say two out of ten times they're gonna actually throw a dot. It's like two out of ten. And then the other eight times they're gonna be either throwing the ball behind the line, like it's gonna be out of bounds, or they're gonna throw a pick. So it really just like it, it, it's. This is honestly the best play by far. I've tried out every single play um, in the you know versus CPU. I've tried out every single play, and this is by far the best one because, like I said, they just literally they, they don't know what they're doing. They literally just panic every single time um, you run this. So we should be able to get them off the field. And like I said, right here they they almost throw a pick right there. So if you if, if you need uh, help with you know catching picks on the CPU stuff like that, because I know that one was really really hard. Some objectives uh, you know make they, they make you like uh get an interception that play right there that cover three with the blitzer that one it, bro it gets you picks every single time for every single time um now let me go ahead and show you the offensive play that i usually run and also folks when you're facing the cpu and you are at quarterback make sure you have hot rod master get the um get the hot rod master ability from um fr from the general get that ability and then put it on a, a quarterback another quarterback class um and it, it, it's gonna help you a lot so um, the, the plays that I usually run is either crossfire right here, this crossfire play, or this red zone cross. So, the thing about this red zone cross play is, like I said, 
um, they're gonna usually run man. What you want them to do is, you want them to run man. So if they run man and you put like post, deep post, stuff like down the field, you're gonna be able to beat them every single time. It's really gonna be easy work. So you see right here, I have a deep post and like a uh, like a like a mid tier post right here. So it looks like they're running um, cover three right here, but I have X wide open, like I said. Bro, everything's gonna be open. It's either gonna be that deep post is open or that like that that uh that 10 yard and end post. Bro, it's gonna be open every single time. And like I said, another play is um red zone cross for us. Red zone cross is another good play. Um, so right here, red zone cross. So like I said, if you if you have your wide receiver, if you have if you have your wide receiver on the outside, you know, you need to get, get like catches, you need to get yards with your with your avatar at wide receiver. Put him at X right here. Put him at wide receiver number one. Uh, run this uh, run this play right here called red zone cross and you're gonna throw it to him right here with x so um yeah they're in man right here so x is gonna get open every single time so if you need your player to get catches just have my wide receiver one put him on that put him on that route in red zone cross and he's gonna get open every single time fellas every single time he's gonna be open so that those two plays basically th th those are really the best ways to get um the objectives done and also fellas, another thing is um i know a lot of people have been telling me um, you know, oh, I got the sacks or, you know, oh, I got, you know, this objective done, but it wasn't counting. I'm telling you right now, if something doesn't count, fellas, just redo it again. If you redo it and you get the um, objective done again, it's, it's going to count. Sometimes that happened to me where I got, you know, three sacks. I got two sacks or something like that, and it didn't count. But what you have to just do is just do it again. Redo the mission again, and it's going to count the second time. So that's how I got them all done. Um, You see right here, like I said, the CPU is flabbergasted, fellas. They don't know what the heck is going on. So... Like I said, this is the best way to do it. And I know I know sometimes, like I said, um, they, they do want you to get like solo sacks. So sometimes you're gonna have to click on to this guy right here and actually do it yourself. Try to get this sack yourself. Because that's that's uh that could be the problem sometimes. I know the sacks is kind of like glitchy. So sometimes you're gonna have to click on to that middle linebacker and get the sack yourself. Um, but yeah, this is the best way to get these solos done, get the um get these campaign missions done. Like I said, the best way by far. Cause like I said, I've tested basically everything out. You see right here, he does just throw a pick. The, the CPU throws a pick right there, and that's what I'm saying. These CPUs, when you when you run that cover three, they're just sometimes gonna throw the ball up, and it's gonna be an easy interception. Now, fellas, y'all let me know. Is there any um you know campaign mission y'all want me to like to, to talk about specifically? I'll uh, I'll try to answer it in the comments below. So y'all let me know in the comments below. And is there like anyone that you're really having trouble with? Um, because like I said, you if you do what I I just said you're gonna be able to uh, knock them most of them out um by, by just doing what i just said so yeah like like i said 100 do what i just said do those uh do the cover three do the do the two plays i talked about on offense um but yeah y'all yeah, let me know in the comments below is there anyone that like you know you kind of need help on more stuff like that i'll try to answer it down below but all right guys that's it for the video thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe for more and until next time peace